The Lord Mayor, early last month, attempted to open his KCC base offices with the interest of cleaning it after two and a half years of being forced out of the office by the councillors, but in vain after the police blocked him. To the morning, his team managed successfully to open the offices, led by the Member of Parliament for much in the West Island, Sewanyana, as police witnessed the activity. It has been a great journey to uh, reach here. Uh, we delayed a bit uh, because uh, we are slated to uh, start uh, evaluation process at, um, at 10, but we took like over another 30 minutes to reach here. Good, good enough, we found uh, the relevant authorities here waiting for us and uh, we, uh, we, we took an inspection. The attempts to register comments from the KCCA were futile as most of the officials were at Mnyonyo for a two-day urban governance conference. However, as Lukago's team was celebrating upon this achievement, a KCCA official turned up with a KCCA worker in the names of Nakata Sophia who had collapsed. Okay, WBS TV managed to speak to some people in Kampala upon this new development and they told us about their expectations and what it should do in the five years of Lukwago in the office. It is not a question of not allowing or allowing, but it is by a question of law who administers the oath. Now Lukwago is selfish in the one thing. What happened in the other time when he came as a mayor? Was Musi not there? Can I now say he has, he has just now learned law, realizing that Musi is not eligible to swear him in? So he's selfish and he's, he's, he's myopic, he's short-sighted. Lukwago is selfish because now he was in the parliament. They passed that case is act. Where was he? Early last month, Lukwago's attempt to open his offices for general cleaning were unsuccessful. This time around, he has managed to get his success amid his fight from the ruling party, DNRM Kadas. Kawesa Lubama, WBS-TV, KCC offices.